Okay, everybody. Thank you so much, Delph and Swan River Nipua. Tonight's message is loud and clear. A riding wants a voice in Ottawa that will continue to stand up for rural Canada. And I will do that. The timing of this election was not our choice. But despite the challenges and difficulties presented to us, our campaign adapted and persisted. We installed hundreds of signs, made thousands of phone calls, and knocked on a record number of doors. My good old Dodge was put, uh, put another 10,000 kilometers on, on, on it, and it now has survived two elections. <laughs> and I should also mention that the team finally understands the value of the, and the purpose of a ramp box. <laughs> Our local campaign was focused on supporting rural Canadians. It was about reversing the course and neglect that Justin Trudeau was showing us. I have probably lived and worked in the constituency my entire life. I understand what it means to be rural Canadian. I understand the importance of community and family to rural Canadians. And tonight's local victory is a victory for the farmers, ranchers, and outdoorsmen. It's a victory for the families and local businesses within our constituency. And it's, and it's a victory for the community organizations, seniors, and future generations who proudly call our rural Manitoba constituency their home. There's an old saying that striving for success without hard work is like trying to harvest where you haven't planted. But tonight, we celebrated a successful harvest that was a result of seeding throughout the last 36 days. And the reason we worked so hard and gave this campaign so much effort was for you, the people. The people of Dauphin, Swan River, Nipua. And tonight, all our hard work has paid off. <laughs> the reality of tonight's victory is that we could not have done this by ourselves. Thank you to the volunteers who have dedicated hours, days, and weeks of their time to our cause and to our campaign. I know how valuable your time is, so please know your efforts is in something, your efforts have resulted in something you should be all very proud of. Thank you to everyone who has supported us financially. Your donations have fueled our campaign and has allowed us to run a full-time and professional operation. And thank you to the voters for putting your trust in me to represent you once again as your member of parliament. I know there's not enough time to mention all the people who made tonight possible, each by name, but I do need to acknowledge a very few people who deserve a very special thank you. Bob and Lois Edmondson, our sign coordinators, who drew many kilometers to deliver and install signs over the riding. Your unwavering support and friendship will always be treasured by both Lee and I. Rianne Parks, our volunteer coordinator who many of you might have heard from during this campaign. Rianne selflessly made, put in uh, many hours to ensure we had a great team in place to get the job done, and we got the job done. <laughs> Jesse Mays, our Get Out the Vote coordinator, all-around campaign support team member. Jesse was instrumental in organizing canvases both at the door and on the phone. And by the looks of the results tonight, we did get the vote out. Thank you. <laughs> Levi Cottingham. Levi joined my MP office this summer as an intern. And we were so fortunate to have him jump in on the campaign, uh, have him on board during this campaign. Levi is our champion door knocker. Congratulations, Levi. <laughs> team record for the most doors knock. He could often be found there door, door knocking all by himself, mainly because none of us could keep up to him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, why not? Yeah, probably. John Mandrakis, our campaign financial agent. Thank you, John. John has been a constant pillar to our campaign by keeping our finances in check. His knowledge of election scandal rules and regulations has ensured that our campaign team didn't do anything to land us in jail, basically. <laughs> and Michael Kaszewski, our campaign manager. I can't even begin to express that my gratitude for your hard work and friendship. 
and determination throughout this unorthodox ca uh, campaign. One of Michael's rules of politics is nothing is moved unless it's pushed. And Michael pushed his campaign all the way to the finish line. As we all know, the campaign never sleeps. Thank you, Michael. And to my family, in particular to my wife, Lee, thank you. I know this was not the campaign that he really, really was excited about, but I cannot, my words cannot express how much your support and positivity means to me and to the team. Yesterday we... <laughs> Yesterday we ended the campaign door knocking in Strathclair. And just the two of us, it was actually quite nice. It was the same fashion as that we started this whole journey two years ago. There is no doubt that I would not be here today if it were not for you. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Mm -hmm. In the coming weeks, I will return to Ottawa to take the seat in the House of Commons. Please know that that seat I take is not mine. It's yours. I promise to continue to represent you in the best way I can. Although the curtains of, to this campaign close tonight, the real work is just beginning. But for now, let's celebrate the moment. Thank you.